today I'm going to read Jim Henson's Sid the Science Kid, Why Can't I Have Cake for Dinner? Adapted by Jody Hewlin. It's a very special day for Sid today. Today is my birthday! Sid's favorite birthday treat in the whole world is cake. Do you know what Sid would like on his cake? An extra yummy dinosaur made out of frosting! Cake delicious! Why can't I eat cake every day, 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 day? Sid has another super idea. Why wait until your birthday to have a birthday cake? Why not have a cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Why don't parents let us eat cake all the time? Just then, Sid hears his mom. Hey, Sid, it's breakfast time, she calls from the kitchen. Yippee, it's time to eat. It's the birthday boy, says Dad. Mom and baby Zeke wish Sid a happy birthday. As Mom sets out a bowl of cereal for Sid, Dad asks a very important question. What would you like for your birthday dinner? Since Sid's special day, he gets to choose. Sid's answer was simple as it is tasty. Cake! Mom and Dad are a bit confused. Of course, Sid will have cake, but after dinner, right? Mom explains why cake is sometimes food. Cake has a lot of sugar in it, Mom says. How about cupcakes then? Too much sugar, Mom says again. Little cookie shaped like cake. Can you guess the answer? Too much sugar, Mom says once more. Sid has a lot to talk about when he arrives at school. Gerald and May are waiting on the playground. Hey guys, Sid asks the question of the day. What would happen if you ate cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I'm a roving reporter, Sid, with today's survey. I think your tummy would feel yucky, answers May. Gabriella explains that Sid isn't the only one who likes cake. I once saw a bunch of ants eating cake like at a picnic. They liked it, so maybe eating cake all day is a good idea. Gerald tells how lots of cake makes him feel. When I eat lots of cake, I run around and around and around and around and around and around. Look, it's Teacher Susie. It's rug time. Come on inside, she sings. The kids take their seats. Before they get started on today's lesson, Teacher Susie has a special greeting. Happy birthday, Sid. Sid's friends wish him a super duper snooper birthday, too. Do you have a birthday wish you'd like to share? Teacher Susie asks. Sid sure does. My wish is to eat cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Teacher Susie agrees that cake tastes good, but it says it's not for eating every day. What foods give you energy and make you feel good? Nutritious foods have all the things in them you'll need to grow strong and healthy, Teacher Susie explains. Is it important to feel healthy? Sid's friends show him what they do when they're feeling strong and healthy. Gabriella flexes her muscles. May whirls and twirls around. Gerald asks what types of food are nutritious. That's a perfect question, says Teacher Susie. Let's explore that in the Super Fab Lab, she calls. The kids grab their journals and their lunch boxes. Teacher Susie wheels out a big chart. The best way to eat a nutritious meal is to eat a bit from each food group every day. Grab your journal too. Sid notices something very important. There's no cake on that nutritious food chart. The friends begin grouping their lunches into different food groups. Carrot sticks are vegetables. Tuna salad is fish. A cheese sandwich is bread and also cheese. A veggie sandwich is bread too. And it also has vegetables. Apples and oranges are fruit. Crackers belong in the bread group. Yogurt dough with milk and cheese. Now let's use your journals to draw a nutritious meal, Tutu Susie says. Let's see what everyone drew in their journals. Pasta, meatballs, broccoli, bread, chicken, green beans, potatoes. 
Sandwich, spinach, celery, apples, cheese, cucumbers, turkey, orange, lettuce, chicken. You can eat the whole nutritious meal in one big bite, Gerald says. Don't. Now it's time to see what eats in Sid's journal. I drew my nutritious birthday meal. Mashed potatoes, peas, mom's gumbo, and cake. Teacher Susie is impressed with each of her scientists. You know so much about eating healthy, nutritious foods. Sid is sad that he can't eat cake all day. But if he did, his body wouldn't be getting enough nutritious foods. If he eats cake only once in a while and eats a little bit from each food group every day, he'll have enough energy to run and jump and play. When Sid gets home, he knows just what to request for dinner. I'd like mashed potatoes, peas, and a glass of milk, and some of Mom's jumbo gumbo. Hey, those are foods from each food group. He learned about that in school. And Sid got his wish from this morning, too. But with a nutritious, delicious twist. A yummy cake with a dinosaur made out of blueberries. <laughs>